So this is a study that is mainly focused on esophageal cancer. Esophageal cancer, especially uh, tumors in the esophagus that start in the bottom part of the esophagus, top of the stomach, are really one of the fastest rising cancers in the United States. You know, usually we do chemotherapy and radiation. If people are in shape, we do surgical resection. And after that, we actually do what we call surveillance. There is no evidence that any more treatment at that time makes any difference. You know, unfortunately, a lot of people, the majority of people who had cancer at the time of surgery will relapse. There's still a lot of work to be done. And so this study actually tests a new drug um, that works to stimulate the immune system. We give it to patients that at the time of surgery, even though we took all the cancer out, they still on that surgical sample had evidence of esophageal cancer, either in the esophagus or in the lymph nodes after chemotherapy and radiation. So the drug that we are using in the study is a drug that we call a program death one inhibitor. So what does that mean? So, you know, normally we all have this pathway. A pathway is really a number of proteins, you know, that work together. Okay, it's a bunch of proteins that when active, um, they will give this uh, immune system, the immune cell, a signal to sleep. In a normal situation, this is a good thing, but in a cancer patient, it's not a good thing because cancer actually can use that pathway to its advantage. So every time a cancer cell meets the immune cell, it will actually send it a signal through this program death pathway, telling the immune cell to sleep. And that seems to really be one of the many possible mechanisms involved in cancer evading the immune system. We've always wondered, how is it that when you get a virus, your immune system goes crazy, but then you get a cancer cell that is so foreign looking, has so many genetic abnormalities, and the immune system does not seem to do anything about it. So the drug that we're using inhibits the inhibitory pathway and in turn activates the immune system, wakes up the immune system. And so we're hoping by waking up that immune system um, that maybe we can you know, control and um, increase the chances of surviving, reduce the chances of relapsing from esophageal cancer. This clinical trial is a phase two study evaluating the safety and efficacy of dervalumab following multimodality therapy for patients with locally advanced esophageal cancer without distant metastasis. The usual treatment for esophageal cancer is to have chemotherapy plus radiation followed by surgery to remove part of the esophagus and regular checkups to make sure the cancer has not come back. Dervalumab is an antibody therapy it attempts to turn off a cancer cell's ability to grow and continue multiplying. Dervalumab allows the human immune system to recognize and kill cancer cells. Researchers will study if giving dervalumab after chemo radiation and surgery will help the body's immune system keep the cancer from relapsing or recurring. This study will allow researchers to know whether adding dervalumab is better, the same, or worse than the usual approach. The use of dervalumab following chemo radiation and surgery is investigational. This means dervalumab has not been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to treat your type of cancer. This clinical trial will have one study group. All subjects will receive the same dose of dervalumab. Participation is voluntary. Subjects may withdraw at any time. You may be eligible for this study if you have locally advanced esophageal cancer, have had chemotherapy and radiation therapy prior to surgery, and cancer was found in the surgical sample when part of your esophagus was removed. There are other criteria that must be met to be eligible for this study. Talk to your doctor to learn more. A full description of this clinical trial is also available at www.clinicaltrials.gov using trial number 0263905.